So the first one is energy, okay? Like you want, it, you want an energy when you're up here. Now, Doso doesn't just bring farming down to a science. It also makes it simple. 50% of the people diagnosed with cancer will die. But this should not be the case. So the question is, how are we diagnosing cancer today? The second thing is you want to control your body. A lot of you still have like flailing hands. You know, sometimes it's like, like these types of movements, like the back and forth. You know, I've seen a lot of people do this thing, right? And this is called an Indra chip. Basically what this does is it takes energy from radio signals and it turns it into usable electricity. Our IoT chips can use a combination of uh, our fit technology and GPS tracking technology. Look at people in their eye sockets, okay? Forget what you're told about, oh, just look at the back of the room. No, look at the back of the room is for everyone else. And basically what the patch has is it has a heartbeat sensor to see if the medicine is working or not and to see whether he's healthy or not. It has um, the needles that actually inject the medicine for him. And these proximity sensors will be embedded into um, the shelves and the actual product. So how does this camera work? It has a camera. It captures what Alex sees. It's like his eyeball. So our product is really simple. All it is is a sensor that uh, can both sense nitrogen and phosphorus and a waterproof shell. Together, the price for this entire apparatus comes out to less than $22. We don't want to be reactive. We want to be proactive when it comes to our homes. We don't want to react to a situation where we have a flood. We don't want to react to a situation where we have a short circuit. We want to make sure we're preventing them. So first of all, it's going to detect the body temperature in its vicinity to see if your body is in front of the mirror. And it also uses infrared sensors, so it can de also detect what objects are in front of it. And the whole concept of boss mentality is basically just bypass the time it takes you to get to that state. Just imagine you're already that executive, that you're already that CEO, that you're already managing a thousand people. Well, how would you act, right? How would you act? Let's look at the first one. He gets dropped all the time, gets flipped over all the time, okay? Shipping companies don't even know what they're doing. He's like, why am I flipped over? Another one, humidity. You know, mold is growing all over him. He has grass everywhere, like, like he's just, terrible. It's, he's, in, he has, he's depressed. That's what he is. So a breakdown of our solution. The first step would be our sensor, which is sort of like a magnet that would stick onto your machine, would detect the issue pretty early on. And then it would notify the manufacturer or whoever is in charge of these machines. So we come to you with Smart Out, which is basically a smart outlet that can me measure the energy flow. What it does is it can measure how much energy your device is using and if it's being charged, it can tell when it's fully charged. There's two other big things that I want you guys to take away. The first is if we didn't do this session and then you didn't volunteer to speak, if you didn't volunteer to speak and we didn't capture it on camera and we didn't give feedback, you might have not known what you're bad at. You can only improve on things once you know you're not good at them, right? And then you have to then practice to get good at them. But a lot of people might have not even known they had body language issues. A lot of people might have not known that they don't seem enthusiastic even when they try or they're not speaking loud. So you can only work on things once you identify that those things are problems. And the only way to identify those things are problems is put yourselves in scenarios where you can identify them, okay? That's like a super meta thing, think about that. The second thing is you are your own worst enemies. Like you are your own worst enemies. You too didn't have the chance to present today, not because of anyone, we asked who wants to come up and present. We didn't even care about what you say, right? The people who win are the people who put in the effort and take their development seriously. 